This is the BBC Home Service. We are interrupting programs to make the following announcement. It is understood that in accordance with arrangements between the three great powers, an official announcement will be broadcast by the Prime Minister at 3 o'clock tomorrow, Tuesday afternoon, the 8th of May. And what a celebration it was. A quarter of a million visitors enjoyed North Down's biggest ever festival. Memories were rekindled with a cavalcade of sellout concerts evoking the nostalgia of the era. There were certainly nights to remember. The days too were filled with the same party atmosphere that many remembered from the end of the war. People from everywhere converged on Bangor's Castle Park and hokey cokey their way into the Guinness Book of Records. Ladies and gentlemen, Bangor got 6,748! And that's what it was all about. The fun, the atmosphere, the participation. It was infectious and everyone in the borough joined in. From barn dancing to big the range of entertainment was endless. There were aeroplanes for all ages, but the aerial extravaganza really took off with an incredible display of aerobatic wing walking from the girls of the crunchy flying circus. Excitement heightened with a World War II dogfight, but the best was yet to come. An amazing display from the spectacular Red Arrows.
back down to earth and back in time for a nostalgic cavalcade of wartime vehicles. As the beating the retreat began, thousands of people gathered in Bangor to commemorate the end of war in Europe. With dusk approaching, Bangor lit Northern Ireland's beacon, joining the United Kingdom, Europe, and the rest of the world in celebrating the 50th anniversary of VE Day. VE Day 1945. VE Day 1995. Memories of the past, creating memories of the future.